So I've done a bit of extra cutscene work, guys. I'm going to do a test play in a minute to show you what I've done different. Just a bit of tidying up, really. There was a lot of things I wanted to smooth over with the cutscene and add. Um, just to make it more interesting to watch. Um, I've got a to-do list here. So let's get that up. And there's actually some things on this to-do list that I can take off now, I believe. Oh, have we got it chopped off a bit? I think we have. There we go. Don't want it chopped off. Yeah, a lot of things, well, a few things here I can get rid of because I've already done them. So, show more hesitation when Rose when Carol demands she paints. That's something I've done. I've also done reactions from the hero and Rose as well. Um, but I do want to work on some more face animations for Rose. Because it just adds so much doing that. It adds so much more to the character. The avatars still need to be done. Um, the positioning of Lemon and Blueberry Sprite was something I actually did work on. And I sort of altered that a bit a bit. But now I kind of want to redo it because I think I'd rather do things another way. So I'm going to actually see about that later. Um, Carol's walk and hop animation is something for sure that needs working on. And the animation of the rose painting is what we started at the end of last stream. Which is something we can do today as well. Because I think that would be fun to actually do the painting animation. And, and put that together. Um, I'm going to get rid of them, the ones we've done in a sec. But I kind of want to do a test play first. Just to be sure that I'm alright with them. <laughs> Hey Rose, hi Yasmin, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good Wednesday, guys. I, I can't believe it's the 22nd of April already. I could have sworn it was like only the start of the month. Where's it gone? <laughs> um, right, so we'll get rid of this list for a bit. And Photoshop. So these are the expressions I use for our characters. So what I usually do is I grab a face that I like the look of and I add it to Rose and just change the colours just to match you Rose to give her that the expression we like. So we've already got quite a range for Rose. We've got a shocked one, um, a sad one and an angry one and there's a quite a lot of others as well. And um, I find that just using some of these different expressions to, to show her reaction really works well. Especially because of what her character is and the fact she can't really communicate by voice with us. It makes it even more important really. Um, and there's a couple of points in this scene. I did a test play while I was having lunch that I thought that we could I could potentially add some more expressions for certain bits which I'll we'll talk to about when we do a test play um we'll see in a sec and uh got Carol here as well because I was thinking of doing a hop animation what I was thinking of doing to make the hop animation better was literally just make the barrel of pixel shorter somewhere where it's not too obvious because I don't want to change the sprite too much I love her I love that she's uh, thick, <laughs> so I don't want to make her too uh, small. Um, but I think just making a one sprite shorter, one sprite, one pixel shorter, will help a lot. Just because when she does do her hop, it'll just look a bit more obvious. It's a bit, it's not too obvious, man. And maybe adding a little shadow as well, just to emphasise that she's hopping. Um, which we, I've got to kind of be careful about because the other sprites, Rose, the hero, and others don't actually have shadows for their character animations. But, you know, Carol's an object. And there are objects in the game that do have shadows. It's weird. Some things would look weird with a shadow, but others wouldn't. I guess it depends what it is you're doing. Um, Carol, Craigasm, I know, right, Fantasia. So, Fantasia, does that mean you are a fan of Carol and are very much willing to romance her? I hope that's, that's the case. <laughs> I totally romance Carol in my game. 
I'd romance Rose as well, but that'd have to be another playthrough. Question of the week answer, depending on what you call merch. Merch, I do own one game solution booklet for Tomb Raider 2, good old times, but other than that, not really anything. Oh, interesting. I, it's an interesting question. It's a bit different to our past question of the weeks because it's more, it's not so much about, you know, games in themselves but it's still related because it's games <laughs> but um because of the release of the raindrop chronicles shop that i opened out on monday i thought it'd be a relevant question to ask um and i said i'd get i'd get merc that i've got dinner guys for you guys i might get that to show in a bit it's nothing too exciting i honestly just have a bunch of plushies like i've got about three toad plushies toad from mario because <laughs> i think he's cute Hi Mad, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Look at that cute emo, just as I was talking about cute things. Pretty good, good to hear it. Also guys, I'm thinking of making, I'm thinking of being a bit more active on Instagram. Our Raindrop Chronicles Instagram, that is not my personal Instagram. Um, I've had some ideas for things for the Instagram. I'm thinking of completely deleting all the current posts that are on there. Because it's literally just a bunch of screenshots at the moment of the Everbloom Forest. Um, which aren't bad, it's fine to put screenshots up of things, but... I found like it was very weird. I was putting up screenshots and I was getting a lot of attention on them, but not good attention. People were commenting and being very like, you should do this instead, you should change that. And it was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> so I actually disabled my comments because it got a bit much. Um, so I think if I was going to go back on Instagram, I would want to enable the comments because that's what community is about. <laughs> so I probably would, but I probably wouldn't want to post screenshots. I don't, I don't know. It kind of didn't work out, but I would post screenshots of the actual game, but more, more interesting things like maybe a, a bit of dialogue from Carol or something related to the game. I'm still having to think about it. I have some ideas anyway. Um, but I started posting some Instagram stories over the the weekend as well. So, and that was pretty interesting because there's polls and choice things like that are on the Instagram stories, which I thought would be pretty cool. I could put some polls for peeps to answer. I'd say things like, "Are you Team Carol or Team Meryl?" And we'll see who wins. <laughs> Uh, might get something from the shop, but current selection does not pique my interest, really. Yeah, I get that, Yasmin, because the t-shirts that are there are very... What's the word? They're of a certain style, I guess. They're pretty... Pretty... I mean, someone bought one out over the weekend before I even went live with it. I showed them it and they bought a, a t-shirt. And they said that's because they absolutely adore that sort of look it's their type of fashion and even if it wasn't me they'd have bought it anyway if they saw it in the shop because that's the sort of fashion they like um and i was like oh cool that's awesome so if if you're into that sort of fashion and style of clothes like the bright sort of colorful showy stuff t-shirts then yeah it'll probably be a cup of tea but if not then you, you know, you might, it might not be a thing, which is totally fine as well. And I'm sure over time, there'll be other stuff in the shop because that's what I intend to do. I tend to build it with with other things. Um, with some of our other original characters we're going to get. We'll, we'll say. We'll see what we get over time. Right, so shall we do a test play now? I mean, I, I don't usually wear t-shirts at all. I own one t-shirt. <laughs> I've bought one for because I feel like I've got it. Of course, I've got to buy my own merch because I've got to show it off to you guys and wear it on stream. So when it comes, I'll be wearing mine. But in general, I honestly don't wear t-shirts at all. 
the only t-shirt I do own is my my other Mac merch t-shirt. Oops, here's the test ply. Nearly forgot to put it up for you guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got to change the easel asset too, because uh, it's still the we made it a few pixels taller. Yeah, so there's a bit of a difference with Rose there. She kind of like hesitated a bit more and shows some expression. And I changed it so Lemon actually says that line up there instead of when he's by Carol. Just to break up. Oh God. And that is totally different as well. Actually, I'm still wondering about that. Part of me kind of likes it because um, Blueberry's cute and he, it could work well, but I'm still unsure. Um, what I'll say this this was the bit I was thinking of changing with, with lemon and blueberry I'm kind of thinking and there's a reason for that and I think it's because it's going to get when they move about it, we're kind of limited with them being together a lot but we'll see because there could be a lot of work I'd have to put into the sprites if we're going to keep it this way because I don't want them to be stuck to the spot I want them to sort of move about and it is hard to do that when I'm kind of making them be on the same sprite but I've got a couple of ideas of how to handle it oh yeah and this bit as well um, I'm making Plum look at Rose and be like, yes, yeah, she's she's uh she's here. Because that be everything before happened. There wasn't any like slow parts, everything it felt like all the dialogue boxes were just rolling off really fast, one after the other. There wasn't much movement or slower things to break it all up in between. So I think that's quite important sometimes just to do that. So I, I like that I've that that Plum does that rather than just says everything straight away. Okay, so yeah, everything is where we left off, but just I'd say a little bit more interesting than how it was before. And it's not perfect. I'm one of those people that are never satisfied, so other things might still get changed. But I'd say it's gone from being a a four out of ten to a six out of ten maybe we'll slowly work on it more um okay right so what should we do now there's a few things to do let me tick some things off our to-do list and add some new ones so we've got that one done got that one done I'm going to move that one higher because that's something, although it is done, I want to kind of change it, like I said, so we'll see. Um, I also did get rid of Blueberry's dialogue when he does that jump and lands behind Lemon because I wasn't sure about it. But we'll see. I'm still a bit unsure about the whole the Blueberry bit. I want him to be adorable, if so. But he's not, he's scary, he's a psycho. But I won for you guys into thinking Blueberry's adorable. And I thought a sort of dramatic entrance like that would be would be cute, <laughs> we'll say. Um, And that's not too bad. Like, I don't know if we're honestly going to get it better than how it is, the animations. But I'm just keeping that because you never know. You know, I'm like, I'm a perfectionist and I, wanna, I might want to see if we can get it even better. So I'll keep that there for now. Um, there was one thing I wanted to do. when The part when Plum 
inspects, like, walks around Rose to check her, having, like, a sort of expression from Rose there. Her face does go sad at, at the point where he's like, she's here, guys, we have brought her to us. She kind of, her face goes sad there because she knows that she's about to be sacrificed. But let's just see. I'm going to have a just quick look at some of these expressions we've got. So it's hard to like the, to know the actual expression I mean but once I see it I might know but it's basically I guess a discomfort kind of expression of being like checked over would be the way I describe it maybe something like this one something like the like oh like uncomfortable sort of feeling Some of them are so over the top, it's great. So I'm thinking this one. I mean, both of these ones look like a sort of discomfort expression to me. Um, these two at the bottom, we'll see which one works best. Is that the same? No, it isn't the same, is it? Actually, I think it is. Yeah, that's we've used that one. Yeah, 100 percent it's the same one but this one we haven't used the one at the bottom yeah i think that's definitely a good like oh like sort of un a bit uncomfortable we'll see how it looks when we put it on rose it might look totally totally uh different because she's got bangs as well which can cover up the eyebrows and completely alter the expression um but let's copy one and we'll, we'll pop her here so using this one here for her painting um, animation, the one in the top corner. I don't know what this thing is here. Oh, I know. Go, it's gone now. I was like, what's that uh, weird bit on the green screen? Uh, okay, so here we go. Eventually, we're gonna have like we've only got one, two, three, like a handful of expressions so far. Over time, we have more. I mean, we'll probably make use of all every single the majority of those, but. Some of them are a bit over the top and might not fit Rose as in particular, but they'll definitely fit other characters. We already use the crazy, like, uh, face up here, that one. Oh no, that one. We use that big eye one with the mouth open for Fiona Buckington. Rookie, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good week. How are things going? Oh no. 
So I'm not going to bother doing the left and right facing expression just yet for this one. Um, we'll just do this top one for now. Because that's the one that we need. It's a very, I must say, it's a challenge with the bangs because it's the eyebrow that really, uh, really, really helps some expressions look the way they do. Um, because Rose has bangs, it hides the eyebrows and it just completely makes it look different. Um and not it sometimes even gets rid of the kind of look I'm after do you know what I'm trying to say like it's that brow that really does the job there and it just it's not the same <laughs> but damn bangs silly bangs <laughs> just gotta have them though I mean we could always might look weird if we leave the brows there, but we'll see. Also, it doesn't help that we haven't got done the colouring yet, so. But yeah, I'm not, I'm actually not convinced by, by that expression now, just simply for that reason, because it, it's going to end up just looking the same as that one when I've done the recolouring, um, perhaps. We'll see, because I kind of want to give it a chance, so I will change the colours and see. Yeah, I tend to, the bits that are the same, I get rid of, but got to make sure we don't get rid of anything that is part of the actual expression. I think that's fine, I don't think we deleted anything we shouldn't have. We'll see how she looks when we've put change the colour of her brows looks like spriting going yeah we're working on a cut scene uh, Ruki and uh, um, I'm kind of making use of character expressions a lot to react to to the things that happen in the cut scene um, just gives it brings it way more to life you know rather than them just standing there like cardboard cutouts with the same expression for everything that happens um and which shelf we're using this is actually photoshop this is so um it's the, just simply the one i've used for how long 15 years so <laughs> i always just find it easier sticking with what i know i only ask because i want to try and learn somehow to do digital designing just on this shall we call it mandatory life break yeah you should totally go for that sounds fun Sounds fun, but if you don't have Photoshop, I mean you might, but if you don't, there's I think there's definitely free versions of other softwares that are similar. I think Gimp is Gimp one. I remember downloading Gimp myself, um, but I, I stopped using it because it was just not what I was used to, but I've heard it's good. Now, unfortunately, it hasn't really 
worked out that expression hasn't because and it's only the banks it's the banks that are to blame for that in all honesty it would work great with a character that was showing their forehead but it's all about the eyebrows with that expression and uh, i mean that sort this expression works i mean you can see that she's angry on that one even though you know she, it's covering her forehead and i think that's because the brows come lower on that particular one so unfortunately we cannot use that one i don't think you know it's an opportunity to make the use of mouths i suppose with some rivers if eyebrows can be difficult with her Some of these are really good though, I like them. But even something like this one here, just a little bit of a shocked mouth, I guess could work for this particular moment in the cutscene. It's not the discomforted face I imagined or first visioned, but it could still work. Um, and I don't think it's gonna be too hard to, to just add a mouth onto Rose. Um, literally, we just copy and paste this bond it here. Um, I bought this software called Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer because it's, um, like a budget photoshop illustrator and it's half price up until next month well that is that's great seems like you know exactly what you're doing but good luck i'm excited to to find out what's what have you got any ideas for what you will be doing on there yet and the good thing about you know this mouth is it could work on a number of Rose's faces, not just, I mean, we've got with the different eyes. I wonder what it'd look like on the angry one. <laughs> she looks funny. Um, probably the normal one you'll be best on for now, say. Copy and paste the normal one. She's met well, that is actually the when she's got her eyes closed and we haven't done it to that top one yet. So we'll we'll copy and paste this one instead. This is the normal one. But yeah, guys, like honestly, this cutscene that we've been working on, it would have been finished like after a couple of streams if i want if i was gonna just have them be cardboard cutouts the fact that i'm like making sure that you know we're gonna have reactions and movement and animations in it all just really adds on the time which is why i was thinking of breaking it up by doing some character sheet stuff next week on stream just so uh you know we have something different to do because i never like to do the same thing for too long on stream um and i can always work on the cutscene off stream as well and then i can just say look guys look how much i've done um since uh, the last time you saw this um Yeah, so this is a, an easy one, like honestly, just a few pixels that are, that are different with this mouth. So, I don't think any of her uh, sprites have got mouths, actually. She's got no mouth on any of them. First time we've got a mouth for Rose. Rose. 
so we can't copy the colours of any of them because there isn't a mouth so I'm gonna just So, the, what's the darkest colour here? That might be too dark. Let's have a look at the original. It looks like the colour that's the dark colour that's used is. is that one the bit that's the edge of the ear and the mouth bit yeah that's the eye Oops, there we go. I think, I believe those are the right colours. I mean, I'm not sure, part of me thinks it's a little bit on the dark side, so I'm inclined to just go a touch lighter for them. But we might barely see the mouth then, we'll see. Yeah, I think that is honestly probably the best way to do it. We even had the little black mouth one as well if we wish. Where it's like two little pixels. You know, that's gonna look right. I'm just experimenting. We'll see how it looks in game. Put them on the others now. And if I don't like it, I'm, I'm going to use the black, the one with the two black bits instead. Okay, so save as. Right, so all we need to do, where's Plum? Okay. So there's a part where Plum walks around Rose and that'd be the moment. And she has that expression. Oh, 
we'll see how it looks and also the easel so let's just open our easel asset that we was doing last stream here we go so i'm gonna copy one of these i'm gonna put it on our uh, tile set which i believe is um I didn't know the name of it, but I'm gonna have to remind myself. Here it is, Enchanted Forest, that's the one. Um, Yep, we just made it a touch taller and I like it like that. It just It's a bit more rectangular rather than square. And that height just gives us more room to do the painting. So now, once I've said that, it should update automatically in RPG Make with the new one. Um, yep, it has. And... We can totally work on Rose animation as well. We'll do that soon. Um, we'll just do a quick test play. I'm going to rush through this test play just to see how the expression look that we just put in. So it's up with tomatoes, the when he jumps out, which is weird because it kind of looks quite good with lemon when he jumps out, but not so much with tomato. So maybe there's just a, a weird glitch thing that I've messed up. It's a bit uh, confusing at the moment while we haven't got their uh, avatars there, because you do, it might be hard to tell who's actually speaking. Especially when the weaver, the ones that are close together. Hmm, it's okay. She looks, it's a bit weird that she just have her mouth open like that, so I'm not sure. But I think she could have it like that for a few seconds. Or for a, a, a few, some amount of frames. But then I don't, I don't, she should be there with her mouth open like that for like, for ages because she looks a little weird. So I think it will probably be better if she goes back to a normal face at this point. This is, this sort of thing is very much trying experimenting with what you like and different things until you're satisfied now, i honestly spent about six hours last night just doing all these little little small details it's crazy guys just the small little touches um hmm okay um What have we got an Alice to do? We've got, we can continue building the scene. I mean, I really would love to get more done because we've got a hell of a lot of dialogue to add still. Um, and the exciting bits still to come. Um, but it's very difficult for me to want to move on too far when I'm not 100% okay with the current bit you know 
because then the list to do just gets longer and longer. So I'm inclined to still get some things ticked off. Uh, hmm. Carol's hop animation. We've been very much leaving that when it's something that's uh, important, being as she's the MVP. She's a main character, we're going to see this hop a lot, not just in this cutscene, so honestly, what I was thinking of doing was just making it go like that. That is barely noticeable if we make her just one pixel shorter. I mean, you can barely notice the difference if I just uh, bring in the barrel at the top by one. I'm inclined to do it at that bit rather than where her face is because that all this detail here is very important. And I don't I, I don't want to ruin her face. So uh <laughs> I think we we've definitely got a lot of pixel area here that we don't necessarily need. So if anything's going to be shortened, it'd be that, in my opinion. Um, Got to just make sure I do it the same for all, you know. Why is it all look weird? So I'm remembering exactly that first line so and this I mean I only need I think for come on we gotta make sure because uh this is a side view so we've got to handle it a bit differently but we still need to do it That's probably the best part to do it. Now, the thing with this is that if we're going to do this for Carol, probably need to tidy that up. We got to do it for all the other barrels too. And um, it's important that I make a note of the the bit of the pixel that I am like reducing the size. Otherwise, if I forget. Um, they'll all they'll not be consistent with each other potentially. So literally, that's easy. I'd honestly just take a print screen and show put a square around the area that I'm adjusting um, and save it somewhere. Um, but I'm not going to think too much about the side view for now. I mean, it will have to be done. But I'm mainly thinking of the facing up and facing down because that's the, the part that we that has been the issue in this scene um okay That is probably the bit, but it kind of does make that bit deformed. Okay. 
but it might just take a simple tweak of that just to give it that more rounded look but I'm not sure about that because it's probably work better if we just use this a lighter colour yeah it's not perfect yeah see what I mean it's very f fiddly very fiddly just like such small things like this so I don't want to destroy her sprite but just like that adjustment can just, you know, ruin the whole sprite if you're not careful. But it's necessary and has to be done because we we want her hop animation to look decent. Um, hang on, let's just... Go back. For now, because I don't want to completely ruin Carol, I mean, I know we can just save on another sprite sheet if we're scared of ruining this one, but um, so we'll just do the top row for now, I don't know though, because <laughs> we need to do this one too, hmm. yes, what I am going to do, I am going to save the original on, an, on another one, because I'm just frightened of the uh, making too many edits and wishing i didn't so i'm gonna do mink soy character carol barrel walk old version i'm gonna just save that as a pin png just in case just in case i screw it up hi dark knight how you doing how you doing dark knight how is your game going how are things treating you I I, lo I really like how um, this facing down Carol looks with the edit, but it's not as straightforward with these from the other directions, mainly because this thing here. Um, probably, you know, it probably just work better if we if I shift that bit there and it's not 100% perfect I think it needs to be rounded off a little bit um, but for now while we're doing the test because mainly I want to make sure that the hop looks okay with this edit first before I commit to the change um, So yeah, it, it, it definitely needs tidying up, but we'll just see how the hop looks first. So, all we need to do now is bring these side ones up by one. Who knows if an extra pixel will make a difference. Sh adding a shadow could make a bunch of a big difference to just a subtle shadow I don't want anything that's too stands out too strongly because the other characters don't have shadows um, but this is how she was originally see there's you can see the difference in the movement from here just by comparing the two like there's barely a dip like a hop there with this one but when it goes like that you can clearly see that there's a hop and that these are higher and it's just one pixel so it should make a difference we'll see what i'm going to do is i'm going to save and do a test now but i am going to put it back to how it was simply because i don't like how that facing up one looks it needs to be tidied up um but we'll see um And I know it'll take me some time to tidy that up because I'm a first pot. <laughs> Just chilling out before call then meeting. Oh meeting. I hope it's a good meeting. Okay, test play. Oh, 
Okay, so her hop is exactly how I want it to look now. It's crazy what one pixel can do. It's worked. There's a, you can clearly see a hop with the, her moving. Let's look again. I mean, the barrel at the top looks really bad. <laughs> because Sid so it dead, but the actual hop itself is kind of what I vision. I still want to add a shadow though. But all this stuff, like these little things, like I could literally take half a stream doing, you know, just the um, Carol, uh, you know, tidying up the barrel and adding the shadow. And I don't know if I want to spend up stream doing that. So this is why I make my to-do list. So improve cowards walk heart page mode. So just so I remember, and then I can do some of this stuff off stream. Um, right. So I do want to focus on Rose's animation of the page because I think that that'll be fun to do, and then build more of the scene perhaps. But I just want to test something with blueberry and lemon first. Um, I'm gonna copy all this from when Carol gets interrupted by a blueberry jumping and Lemon telling her off for trespassing just because we're gonna delete this and I wanna, you know, not lose it just in case I decide I do want it back. So I will just keep that on an event there. Um. My goodness, I've gone chilly. It's warm today and I've gone cold. Um, so, this is just experimenting and I wanted to do it last night, but it was already like 4 a.m. So I, I thought I'm better get to bed now. We'll have to do this on stream tomorrow. I couldn't like, I couldn't like do it anymore. I wouldn't have, would have pulled it all night. Um, are you British? Where's British? Where's British? Is that a country? I've never heard of that one. I'm not anomaly. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Uh, right, so we're going to do things a bit differently. Let me figure out what's happening here. So, event 15 is blueberry. Um, and event 14 is lemon. So get rid of that. We'll see how, what's, what happens here. I've just altered things a touch so that we don't have the sprite where Blueberry and Lemon are together anymore. Because I'm thinking of not doing it that way anymore. At the time it seemed it could work well because I wanted them to be close together. But it's going to really limit me uh, doing Blueberry and Le Lemon's other movements, you know. For the rest of the scene so for that reason i kind of am exploring another way to approach this um yes rose is true british female down to the accent i'm a, well unfortunately i'm not your woman then because <laughs> i can't <laughs> i'm afraid i'm afraid you're gonna have to go son of a bucket look over there Uh, 
has. Well, Gino Rush Fruit is the same because I kind of just want to see the lemon and blueberry bit. Okay, so it's worked, but lemon, well, as I expected, blueberries on top of lemon, which of course we don't want that either. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is using half tile movements. So we still get the impression of them being close together, but they're not close together. We'll see. They're not actually on the same sprite. Um, And sorry, I'm, that might be harsh, but I really don't like the way you talk, so it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel deeply uncomfortable when people talk to me like that. And maybe, you know, you don't know, maybe it's just ignorance, you know, but... I feel weird. <laughs> I am off back to look. Have fun, Rose. Take care, Doc. Hope you have a good luck. We'll try my best to. Yes, I believe in you. Good luck with the meeting. Okay, so I'm just going to move Blueberry, I think. We'll keep Lemon where he is. We're going to have to copy one of the scripts to do this thing. I don't know if it would work with a jump. I might have to use a different one. What I'm predicting will happen is Hmm, okay Oops What's that called? A 24.35, so We'll see where uh, Blueberry ends up with that script. I'm hoping he'll be still, he'll be next to Lemon, but just half a tile away from him. We'll see.
Greetings, Lady Remember. Hi, True Baldi. How you doing? It's good to see you. How are you doing? Are you still working at the moment, True Baldi? Okay. You know, that's not too bad. Okay, it didn't work like as I expected, but I'm kind of testing how that half tile movement works and potentially this could be a good way to approach it instead of having lemon and blueberry on the same tile. I'm well as always, how about you? Yes, I am till 5 p.m. So almost done, oh, awesome. Because loads of peeps are at home now, or, you know, so I was wondering about you and how, how things were going for you. But since I'm in home office right now, have a bit more freedom. Oh, yes, yeah, so you are at home then, yeah. Do you like it? Is it is it fun or do you, would you prefer being at work? I like being at home. I like my space and, you know, my my own personal space and things. And I'm a very introverted person, so it suits me quite well. Um, okay, so where I'm gonna take, I am gonna take a screenshot of that because I always tend to forget where exactly they are positioned exactly, which makes it difficult. Um, doing coordinates when I forget, but so I'm going to take a screenshot. So lemon is on the bit here. That's where lemon's standing, and blueberry twenty four point five thirty five is where I want him. I think I put him one square across too much. I've already forgot the numbers I'd said. Uh, 20, 24.535, 24.535, 24.535, 24.535. 24.535. Yeah, so it's just that. So I'm doing all this fiddly stuff at the moment, guys. Some of the, some of the focus things has to be done, has to be done sometimes. Um, it's fun, but it is harder to motivate yourself to work hard when you have all these distractions around. At least that is my experience. Oh, that that is very understandable, that's for sure. For sure. you got to be very self-disciplined. <laughs> all these distractions like my stream, right? currently working on that part of myself well you can do it true but and it's fine like you know it's not it's sometimes healthy to have a bit of a distraction i think exactly <laughs> um right so i'm going to just ch quickly check something in this plugin that I'm doing this movement in. It's orange moon character two. Here we go. Um, hmm. Doesn't look like he's got one for a jump. But I do have another one here, which is jump two. I don't think this one does half tiles. I often work better when I have some distraction in the corner of my eyes. Somehow my brain works better that way. I often listen to music to boost my concentration. Yeah, exactly true, Baldy. Anybody who thinks that someone should just be there staring at the screen doing their, their work and nothing else. That, you know, you can get burnt out that way, so... I think that's good, true Baldi. Um, 
Right, so I'm going to just do one more test, but I'm probably not going to perfect this right now, though, because, like I said about the carol hop, but these sort of things, the hours can go by when trying to perfect them. And before, before I know it, it'll be the end of stream. And I'll be like, oh, no, I didn't do what I wanted to do today on stream. So I tend to like like to check for just a little bit and try out things. And then I'm like, well, I'll go back to that off stream. Kind of what I, I do. Also, Carol looks deformed at the moment. I'm going to have to put a sprite back to what he was before. And I'll, I'll work on that properly when I... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult one with the blueberry jump because it seemed like it's not possible to get blueberry to jump in that actual position he's in now. He always jumps on top of lemon and then moves to the side because the script the jump doesn't work for half tiles it's confusing but we'll figure it out might have to do it so he doesn't jump because i was never sure about blueberry's entrance being like that i felt i was a bit worried it was a bit too dramatic so and it wasn't in the original flow anyway like in our original flow dialogue flow um this is how we've got it written for blueberry and uh, we've got, he, he just appears and says that. Um, and I wasn't sure, like, I was, I was like, is that the best we can do with Blueberry? And I was like, maybe we should just have him jump on the screen dramatically instead and not say anything. And and now I'm like, mm, I don't know. Because um, it's so, when you actually make the scene, it's so tempting to go a bit off track from what you've, done with the dialogue and I mean not like completely change it but just add those little extra bits in like I've already done that in bits like where we've got Rose looks surprised I've changed things a lot and had to hesitate and Carol's been like hurry up and we actually haven't got hurry up dialogue here so um it's definitely been extended from what we've got here it's very it's always very tempting to do that and want to add more because you're like, oh, no, no, we can add more to this. We can do things a bit differently. And that's fine. I think it's okay if I do to that. Um, because uh, making it better never hurts. But we'll see. True Baldy. Look at all those raindrops. My goodness. Goodness me. You soon got those. Remember the days when you were you wanting to get 500 raindrops? Well, now you got them. <laughs> GG. GG, True Baldy. Sorry about that guys, I had something to deal with but I'm back now, um, right so we've got, we've got this blueberry jump and animation bit here just in case I decide I do want it back but I am going to change it because I'm not, the more I see it the more I'm not sure. So instead of him jumping and this will work better generally with it, him moving next to lemon anyway so we'll have him go we'll just have it like that for now and i think he'll get there himself um if i set that as the destination i don't have to put in all the paths like move left or anything 
also I should get rid of that so you guys can see this bigger um, 14 more till you grow into a drizzle really the top of thousand thousand that's pretty crazy I've had a thousand people in my stream can you believe it guys <laughs> It's, it's a it's a tricky one how to do this hmm. yeah I'm just having a lot of mixed opinions on a certain bit in this scene guys but a way that something goes which happens when you when you're a writer you're like oh, sure. but I'm gonna think about that another time because we got lots of stuff to do we got lots to do today um so one thing that i've been wanting to do which i think is going to be a really cool thing to see on the scene is the rose painting animation bit because we haven't done that yet and the scene makes no sense without it so we need it um Okay, so first things first. We need to get Rose here three times. I love the music. Hi, Talis. Welcome to stream. How are you doing? What music is playing at the moment? Let me listen. Oh, this is Final Fantasy VIII. I only have to hear like a few uh, notes. And I'm like, yeah, that's Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> I'm a Final Fantasy expert. Well, of certain ones anyway, not all of them. How are you doing, Talis? Welcome. That's an adorable Vivi emote, by the way, Mads. I have a Vivi, uh, well, not an emote, but a bit badge on this channel. Because you got to have Vivi. My favourite Final Fantasy of all time. Yeah, it, I think it's very underrated, to eight. A lot of them get love, like 7 gets a lot of love, 10 gets a lot of love, even 6 gets a lot of love. I Even 9, 9 does as well. Um, but uh, 8 I'm fine doesn't get as much love as it deserves. Okay, so basically what we're doing here, we're literally, it's Rose facing that way but with her arm not there because she's going to be painting so I have her arm sticking out so she can paint so let's get that saved um, and this this is the easy bit because all we need to do here is change Rose's graphic um, so Kevin thank you for the follow welcome to the stream I hope we get nice new people in here now because we I mean <laughs> We don't get trolls here often. It's honestly not something I can complain about, really, because I feel like I'm lucky compared to some people. But when someone comes in being like, I love a woman who can code, it just makes me feel really objectified. And, like, my gender is why they're here. It's just pretty icky. Pretty icky. I don't like it. Um, OK, 
okay so we are gonna have to lengthen the scene like the fruits aren't gonna come out the basket until Rose has actually done some of the painting hi lord how you doing hi there good people yes you're good people lord is good people Tala seems like good people so does Mads <laughs> and True Party, of course you're all good people I appreciate the hex of out of you <laughs> Where are you in the progress of the game soon in Alpha? Yeah, we're very, it's still very, very early. I mean, as you can see, we've had over 100 streams of this now. So you probably would think there was more progress, but honestly, there isn't because a lot of that time is spent rambling on about really nerdy things like world building and characterization and just so development progress is quite slow, in all honesty um which is quite shocking when you think about it because it's rpg maker <laughs> and i'm not even doing all the art so it makes me think if i was doing all the art and code imagine how long it would take like a hundred years a <laughs> hundred years so i i don't like put pressure on myself to be like oh i've got it i've got to hurry up because i think as soon as i do that i'm gonna take the love an enjoyment out of something I'm getting a lot of enjoyment from and I don't want to do that so whenever I get those like oh no am I not doing this fast enough feelings I stop myself immediately and I'm like no I'm doing great I mean look where I was in stream 70 to where I am now I'm doing so much more and yeah it's boots live steps but I'm very much a person who's about quality over rushing something so for those reasons yeah it's not going to be like anything I can say is going to be playable within the next month but um I, I mentioned earlier this stream that I really would like to get a playable build um like start working on that in my once this scene is over with like start thinking about having it be uh, the player able to walk around and it'd be a working functioning game and of course it, it wouldn't be a, a full game or even full episode one should i say because there'll be a lot of missing side quests and missing features that we haven't implemented yet but you'll at least be able to walk around and there not be bugs or it, it not be like totally broken and i think that's kind of the, the next goal the next sort of long-term goal um to just get get that sort of very basic playable build where you know it's almost like a demo and the player can like get have a little walk around and see what its things are like so yeah that's kind of a I mean, we're at the end of April now. So for something for my ad side to be working on, because we are coming towards the end of this scene and it'll be the perfect time at the end of this scene to like think about that. But maybe the, because we got a first boss coming up with it. Honestly, that'll probably take some time to perfect as well. And do you know what I mean? It's a lot of things are very, need to be tidied up. I need to organise my variables and switches and, tidy things up because honestly guys things aren't a bit of a mess at the moment <laughs> so but yes uh, i'd say a lot of my is going to be tidying everything and getting getting things playable you are not in a hurry yeah definitely not um it, to me it's all like you know one step at a time and even just a bit of progress is progress um it really helps that I've got all my VODs on YouTube because I can just click on an old one and watch it. And I think, oh my God, like that was, that was a uh, stream 80 and we hadn't even uh, got a uh, Meryl the Barrel in the game at that point. Like, you know, I was thinking that the other day, I was like, it's crazy to think that a lot of the characters, like the Barrel characters we've got, um, Carol's companions didn't actually exist um in january or was it december it might yeah but they've they've only been in the game for a couple of months or a few months should i say when i think about it um and it seems like they've been in it so much longer your community is working on it well 
how do you mean mads by my the community's working on it because like um of, i'm the one who builds this you know it's all me it's all my creation but like the community the community get involved like in chat and i'm like okay guys where should we uh what should we do with this store this quest where should we take this quest what should this character's name be what should how should this uh piece of dialogue go or what should this map look like and anything at all i tend to like be like asking the community for things and feedback it's like a very community feedback heavy game and you know we have tons of polls and but the community value time for us to decide where things go but in terms of them actually working on it that's not the case because it's only me that does that <laughs> um and that's kind of how things have to be because you know, we, we're not a studio or anything, we're not that, so, you know, things uh, would get, a, could potentially get a bit chaotic if it wasn't organised a certain way. Uh, right. So we're going to just change Rose's graphic. Okay, so this is the moment the fruits move. So I'm actually going to make, make a comment here. Fruits make appearance. Just because I'm... It's, it's kind of a struggle to find some, like when I'm looking through all this, I'm like, where's this bit? <laughs> and so making a comment will really help a bunch for me finding things, I think. Just make that stand out a bit more as well. So I'm like, where's that? Where's that? And, uh, it takes me like a good few minutes sometimes to actually figure it out because we've got so much here. Which is the engine, RPG Maker got a command here ready for all you guys that want to look so this is the point where we should change Rose's graphic I'm just going to test how that looks because I like to take things a step at a time and not do too much. I like to make sure things are working in a play test. Oops, didn't quit our last play test. Carol, what's happened to you? She looks like she's had an accident. <laughs> Only when she faces up, her sprite looks messed up. Oh, hang on a sec. I completely didn't look at Rose and I was surprised I was distracted by tomato. it again guys <laughs> it's tomatoes for i'm staring at him maybe because it's he's a cutie pie rose rose's graphic disappears though i know just don't wonder why that is i 
I'm also very distracted by how bad Carol looks when she faces the front because we changed the sprite for testing purposes and it looks bad. Okay, so we're going to have to fix Rose because she disappears and it's probably, in all honesty, because I haven't done this. I thought because she was facing up, Oh, I know what I've done. What a silly Billy I am. This has to be on the fourth row. Let's get. <laughs> Such an obvious thing. There we go. Because that's the facing down sprite, you see, that top one is. Any, anytime she faces up, she should really be on the full throw. Um, but that should fix that. No. I'm going to do another test because I want to make sure. Have you heard of RPG Mike before, Mads, or is it the first time? And are you more passionate about 2D rather than 3D? Um, when it comes to making games, yes. Um, when it comes to playing them, no. I like both 2D and 3D equally as mediums. Um, but I'm I don't have skill set in 3D, so you know I, I I make 2D for that reason. Yeah, that that works fine, I'd say. Um, right. Now this is the hard bit now. I don't think it'll be too bad though. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a painting and it's slowly gonna reveal itself frame by frame. And we'll set it out the same way we did with this fruit basket here. We're actually using that as a template. This is how we animated our fruit basket with each of the fruits hopping out. And we'll do the same with our painting. But we need to actually do a painting first. So what I'm then going to do is actually do the painting. And um, then slowly get rid of pixels at a time to give the impression that Rose is painting and we'll animate it. So in regards to what's going to be painted, well, 
Let's get up our reference images. Official Wikipedia, thank you for the follow. Okay, it became easy to make a full 3D game in high quality with Unreal Engine for free. Became easy, did it? I guess it depends, like, if, you, if you're good at that stuff, then maybe it is easy. Everybody's skill set's different, you know. I wouldn't feel comfortable at all making a 3D game, because I've never... I've never used a 3D software in my life. <laughs> I've never used Unity before either. But RPG Maker is something I've been using since I was 12, so I'm comfortable with it and I feel like it's definitely a learning curve. I wouldn't have to go through that daunting learning curve. Plus two kitty games have nostalgia. I think that's a real appeal. Hi Rez, hi Dunk, how are you doing? And if you want to do that match, you should. If you want to make a, a free baby, you are. I can't remember if you've said you have or not, but it sounds like something, you, you know, you've got an interest in. As someone who's similar to you, being more of a writer, creator, ideas kind of guy, what would you recommend doing to get into game, game dev? Oh, hi. How do I pronounce your name, by the way? That's a really good question. Welcome. Um... But that, honestly, that is a really good question because I try to say this a lot, that I am not, I don't see myself as a, well, I don't like to say, well, a traditional coder. I don't see myself as a traditional coder game dev because I'm more of a creative. I'm a very creative, ideas-driven person. Like, I have a very good imagination and I've always wanted to get those ideas out visually and a game is such a good medium to do that um and if you don't have if you're like a person like that but you don't have any code background it's it's kind of un it's it's a shame if you can't like make a game because you should be able to there's probably so many people who've got wonderful ideas out there that should be able to make a game that have these amazing imagination so i think that's a really good question and this is why i use rpg maker this is why i've chosen rpg maker as my engine because i feel like it's the most newbie friendly uh software out there especially well mainly if you're interested in making a retro 2d rpg because it's already all there for you you know it's it's very it's a very visual program and it's already there for like for you you can get something playable out within minutes you just you can get all your characters on the, the screen and everything in minutes it might be very rough around the edges and basic and but the point is you can get something now you can get something visual you can get characters talking and you can get a story there in minutes on RPG Maker MV or any of the RPG makers. So I'm gonna give you the command as well. Um, Ian, Owen, Owen, I, I'm very bad with EO names, forgive me. <laughs> I always never know how to pronounce. I think it's the double vowel thing, it froze me, but it's, it's my weakness, pronunciation. <laughs> I always feel really bad. I'm like, oh no. Um, but yes, um, RPG Maker because if I may, I mean, there's lots out there. That's not the only thing. Um, I'd suggest, like, you know, just doing uh, re researching what is out there if RPG Maker isn't your cup of tea. Um, some people want to make games that have a bit more flexibility and aren't tied to a, a retro 2D um, genre. Some people want to make a completely different genre altogether. And in that case, Game Maker is a good one. That's kind of been one on my radar for if I ever want to make a game that isn't an RPG, then that would be one that I'd look into. Um, so yeah, but I love to hear that there's people out there that are perhaps writers or creatives that um, want to make games too, because, um, well, that's what I am. So it's awesome to meet more like-minded folks. 
Amazing, I'll have a look at it. It's Irish, so it's confusing. Yes, yay. But welcome, thank you so much for that follow. But yeah, it's, it's, it's sometimes I... I don't know if I get that across as well as I should, because sometimes I feel like there's a lot of people who maybe misunderstand what this project is and who I am. Um, and I always feel like I'm definitely repeating myself a lot. And like, guys, I'm I'm not a <laughs> coder. I'm just a writer and ideas person with a big imagination who wants to create a story, an entertaining story for people to experience. It's, you know, it's not about making the next gen, next gen thing technically or gameplay wise for me i mean of, of course i'd love it to be fun that'd be great but it is mainly about storytelling for me but in general i think right writing is a very underappreciated niche especially on twitch because it doesn't even have a category it doesn't even have a category in the uh, creative section so yeah, it's it's very much something to be expected. Understood. But yeah, I, I apologise for the scary guy that's on the screen right now. <laughs> he was literally just a reptile. Yeah, with a reptile with a human neck that um that I'm using as a sort of base to inspire Rose's painting. So what I am going to do is just stick the reference images here. Um, because she's going to be painting a reptile dude, basically. It's going to be very abstract. But we I just want to kind of get the shape of him in so it's clear to the party that she's painting a reptile. Because it's going to bring in this reptile race into the story. And it'll be a good way to introduce them. Um, I'll copy this middle one. Hmm. So we've got a very small space to work on here. Which is a challenge, of course. I mean, if we just did this, I don't know if this would work successfully, but we'll see. Um, but in all honesty, doing something like that and just getting an outline of him. Rose is painting with a blood, by the way, because she's a vampire, so it, it will be red, the colour. So, we give it a stroke. Get rid of the fill, actually, see what happens. Uh, yeah, we want to be able to see the nose. That's definitely one thing we want to make sure we show off. So, what I'm thinking of doing will we'll actually get rid of uh, the cape and the neck and that and we'll just get that nose if we can get the nose and the ears and that shape I think it's going to be clear enough that it's a reptile so yeah guys if you come in and you can and you're like wondering what this is all about we're working on a scene basically we're putting a scene together um in rpg maker and uh we're working on an animation that's happening in the scene that involves one of the characters doing a painting and this is what they're going to be painting a reptile so we're going to just make it a really simplified version of this because obviously we're not going to get anything that detailed on this tiny easel canvas area um, one thing I'm thinking of doing is using graphic scale for this maybe I mean we can vote pixel art's totally doable in Photoshop but I find it I, I, I find it better and easier to do in graphic scale 
LOL, I hate to write story, but I love to code on mechanics and the rest. Exactly, Donk. And that's why it's so, um, I think that's why I'm so misunderstood. Because a lot of coders are like you, Donk, many of them. It's, um, and, you know, it's understandable. People want to create the next the exciting gameplay mechanic and thing. But that's never been, uh, as someone who's not a technical person, like, that's never been... Um, something that I'm like passionate about like I've always been I, I've said many a times I'd totally play a game with bad mechanics well not bad mechanics that's wrong to say but with average mechanics mediocre mechanics as long as the story was exceptional and very enjoyable I would totally sacrifice mechanics for an enjoyable story um because storytelling's where I, it's all at for me, you see, and uh, sometimes I wonder, I do wonder, guys, if I miscategorise myself going under science and technology. I mean, it's just hard. It's hard for me to know what to categorise myself as because there's no other category on Twitch <laughs> that would suit, like, this, the game dev one. I mean, I am making a game, so it is technically game dev, but it's, um, you know... It's a, it's a hard one, but what can you do? You gotta just make the best of what you're given. <laughs> but it, it makes me happy that uh, we've had someone come and stream today who's a writer as well. You know. I mean, I, I don't don't worry, guys. I love the rest of you guys who who are the more nerdy types who code um, as well of course don't think i mean i i don't appreciate you as well but um of course you know this is a storytelling thing and you might find my streams a bit boring if you don't like story because this is kind of the target audience i guess fellow writers and story geeks Right, so I wonder how it would look if I did do a stroke. It, it, it's probably better. Oh, yes, the stroke looks awfully blurry, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my own stroke manually. Um, to be honest, it don't look too bad. I mean, it's nowhere near how I want it to look. But um, we get the shape of it's not too bad. We just need to make it a bit more simplified. And of course, turn it red. <laughs> so it matches with Rose's blood. Should it be bold or should we give in spikes? You like story, but you don't write it yourself. What happened to Dark Souls 3? Did you finish The Ring City? Dark Souls 3. Oh my goodness, that was a long time ago now when I played that. When did when was it when I played Dark Souls 3? Now, I mean, I remember playing Dark Souls 1 after that. I completed it. I completed the Dark Souls games that I streamed. I completed Dark Souls 1, 3 and Bloodborne. Gosh, those were the days. 
completely exclusive to this now I um, I chose to like be exclusive to Braindrop Chronicle content because um, you know I, I, it's, it's my passion so I, <laughs> I'd feel like I was wasting time doing anything else I still play video games of course but it's um I play them off stream now and I like I do like like it like that because it it genuinely keeps video games as a hobby for me rather than something I'm doing forcing myself to do and um I like that but don't get me wrong it was definitely it was fun stream video games when I did do it that's for sure I just felt uh, my time I was ready to pursue new things I don't know why I edited the easel because it's probably totally fine as it is there we go um okay um forgot what we need is face back so I want to compare it I don't think we're going to use the sprites it's definitely uh, the face is better because you can get the shape of it more so I think he'd look cool with some spikes to be honest if we added some spikes to him We'll actually do these on a separate layer because I might want to move them around a bit. Three or four years ago when I was last on Twitch. Oh my gosh, you've just come back now? Does that mean you've just come back? You've just returned after all this time? Yep, hello, well, Jop, is that the new yep? Welcome back to Twitch. I totally did not realise you've only just come back. Have you missed it? Yeah, long, a lot has happened uh, here since those days. The good old Dark Souls days. Hmm. I think it's not probably a good idea to keep the spike simplistic, so we'll, I think that's about right.
is funny making it a tiny little uh, pixel art piece of this <laughs> reptile. Rose is has become a painter now. Rose, she's. Hmm. I'm actually having fun doing this paint more than I thought I would. Obviously we will have to turn it red. I can't, I must not forget that. Because uh, that's the only colour Rose has. I had a lot to do. Yeah, life happens, that's for sure. Life definitely can uh, take over. But it's good to have you back. Hope you're enjoying being back. Hmm. Um, I think I might not give him a mouth. <laughs> Ken, thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. Just funny that you were streaming just when I get back. I remember to have probably found your personal address at that time with a picture of the package. What's, what do you mean? I'm really confused. I'm really lost. What do you mean, person address with the package? That's a bit, that's a bit weird. <laughs> I hope no one does know. I, might, I hope I'm misunderstanding. Um, let's make this ears a little bit high up. I'm kind of like spending time making sure he's good and stuff in this shape because really we need to make sure we're happy with it because once it's uh we can't really edit it ed edit it after this point if we can actually do the animation of the painting now but Rose wouldn't have done the full painting she's only she's going to only do part of it because she's going to get interrupted by the fruit so she won't be able to like finish it completely. Um, but I want to make sure at least that his shape is there. And I'm happy with that. Um, nah, his nose is better like it was before. Your address where you are living, you had a picture of a packet and from other pictures there was parts of the street now. I don't, I've never had a package on stream before, ever. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Because <laughs> I've never opened anything on stream and I certainly wouldn't leave my address on. So, uh, yeah, maybe that was someone else. That's a big, big yikes, you know. It's a big, big yikes to 
to lip to have your address plastered on a live broadcast. Big deal. I mean, I'm sure people have done it accidentally. It happens, that's for sure. But I think I'd remember if I did. Pretty sure I would anyway. Just the pics of it with your piece. What piece are your parts? I'm compl honestly, I'm super lost right now. <laughs> PC parts. I am lost. I'm confused. <laughs> What PC part? Like, you mean if I got an upgrade for my computer? What, which one? I have upgraded in my computer, that's for sure, but pretty sure I haven't opened it up on stream. I'm pretty careful about that sort of stuff. Three to four years ago. Yeah, I've not been streaming for four years. <laughs> um, it's I haven't been streaming for three years either, but I am coming close this year. I will be having my third year anniversary streaming, but it isn't yet. So, um, yeah, it's it, you might have got me mixed up with someone else there because I do not recall this event. That's for sure. Well, this game looks fun. Hi, uh, hi, Tank. Tank and welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing. Uh, I mean, it's, <laughs> look at this guy. He's. Uh, we're doing a little painting at the moment. It's all gonna make sense when it's when it's done. But uh, it definitely looks very random at the moment for anyone new coming in stream. That's for sure. But I think I think I'm all right with him. Let's change him red for now because we, he will be red because Rose is painting with red. So we want to make sure he looks good in red. Whoa, he looks evil. He looks evil when he's all red, but he's going to have to be. Wow. That is a, a scary reptile, but I love it. It's very ominous. <laughs> Looks like one that shouldn't be messed with, that's for sure. Hmm, probably not use white because it's. Uh... Yeah, it, Rex is right, Dunk. Like, if it did happen, I mean, there was an incident once. It definitely wasn't to do with the package, though, but there is one incident I do remember when I had um, my file explorer open on my computer during a game and I did expose some personal information and I very kindly had a community member very kindly DM me and told me and I was very appreciative of that. This was like two years ago when this happened um and uh for sure so for something like that people usually send a private message because it's it's very uh it's something that's very it's a big deal with people who broadcast on the internet when it comes to personal information you know and it's it kind of very is worrying as well to like tell someone that you know, it's not, it doesn't, <laughs> it, I feel, I feel super uncomfortable right now just thinking that that might have been a possibility, like, I feel, like, very uncomfortable, so, but I, I know it didn't happen, like, I'm pretty sure it didn't happen, because I've never had a package on stream before. 
Is he a designer or a dinosaur or what though? Yeah, he's a he's a reptile. I suppose you could say he's a sort of dinosaur. It's not really clear, like dinosaur, uh, dragon, lizard, any I suppose is anything like that really. Um that's like shade in a dark alley of bad bad part of town should we be walking around with all this money in our pocket? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I I mean, I don't know. Uh yeah, today's stream's been weird, guys. We've had some weird things happen today, and it's it's been a very oh, because usually streams are very, very nice, very fun. But there's been a few uncomfortable moments for me today. But we're, we're fine. I'm I'm sure I'll forget, and I'm having fun doing this, so this helps. Um. Okay. I'm ha I like I like I like this guy. Do you guys like this guy? Is he scary? I think as long as we get, as long as he looks like a reptile, we're fine. That's ultimately the goal. That he, that he clearly is a reptile on this picture because when it's being painted, Carol has to realise, you know that it's a reptile because it's going to lead to the next it's going to open a, a subplot up you know reptiles will be introduced to the story at this point and uh it's um we don't want people to be like well what the heck what even is that so there we go <laughs> Is rose paint? Yes. Well, it, it's interesting. I really am glad that we're getting <laughs> the reptiles introduced because it's going to potentially introduce both yours and Chub Cheeks' characters, Rex, once we've uh, got this ha happening. Once we've uh, just, it's just, it's just fun. It's progress of the story. Um, but th this one itself, is going to be someone who works for Chub Cheeks, but he might have associations with you as well, of course, because you're like the master of all reptiles. You you care deeply for your fellow beast race of reptiles. You're like the president of them all. Well, I don't know about president, but... Okay, so... Should we, get, should we give him a neck? I don't know if we should give him a neck or not. I'm kind of like undecided about that. Let's have a look how he'd look. <laughs> I'm laughing because he just looks funny. He looks like... I feel like if it's a portrait, he would have a neck. What do you guys think? I mean, I just don't want his nose to get hidden because adding the neck might d take away the nose. I'm kind of, I am tempted to add some teeth as well and just add a little bit more detail to, to this, but Honestly, I'm just, I want to get the shape, the outline in place first because that's ultimately the first bit Rose is going to paint, the shape. Um, uh, and all the filling in and detail is what she'll do post bot bat boss battle when the fruits are gone and Rose has got the time to finish the painting. I'm going to go grab my breakfast. I hope it's super yummy, Rex. Tell us what you have and what yummy breakfast you get. Certainly looks like a lizard person good because honestly that's I'm not expecting it to be a masterpiece like Rose isn't like the best. I mean she's no artist but uh you know as long as uh as long as um the crew kind of understand what it is is all that matters. So I was just 
removing this bit by the neck just so we don't lose that nose shape. He looks like a skinny boy now, though, that's the thing. But yeah, I'm not, I don't think it's too bad. For the space we've got anyway. I don't know, I think I need to fill in those gaps. I'm being super indecisive. <laughs> One thing I think could be cool is if we slightly lighten the the nose bit i suppose Obviously we don't want it too light because it's going to look odd, but I suppose if it was just slightly lighter. Yeah, we don't want the light to be that of high up. We just have it on the nose. Yeah, I want to like actually fully shade it in a little bit. I'm not like wanting a masterpiece here because it's no like work of art, but you know what I'm like, I kind of want it to look half decent. But for now, I'm, j I'm not gonna be too fussy because we're not even gonna get the finished painting in at this point. We're only gonna get the outline. So what I am gonna do you just pop this little guy here for now or hide that because it's super distracting um oh hang on actually one more thing I feel like we might as well make it I'm going to actually just colour it all in in this colour for now the next darker and that makes sense Sorry if you heard that sneeze. <laughs> Sometimes when people who live with me sneeze, it's picked up on stream. It's happened in the past. But maybe the mic didn't pick that one up. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, back. welcome back, Rex. What have you got for breakfast?
Um, hmm. Did you enjoy her breakfast? Yeah, I hope it's yummy. I mean, we kind of have got the ears going over the canvas bit, but in all honesty, he looks weird without those bits coming off. So I kind of want to keep them. Um, oh wait, you've got Soylent. But yes, guys, this got mentioned a while ago um, about the painting, but originally it wasn't going to be this. It was actually going to be a place that Rose was going to paint. Um, but I decided to change it from a person, from a location, because it kind of makes more sense for the to introduce the reptiles. It just introduces them easier. Um, but, you know, there's, Rose might do other paintings in the future. Don't even know yet kind of like I kind of like that sort of thing like a sort of character that paints to communicate with people because they can't speak I don't know I think that's just kind of interesting but like we I like it's been discussed in other streams like you know there's many ways to communicate with a new character it, it you could play the yes or no game where they shake or nod their head. They could write, but, you know, Rose, could she write? You know, someone said in stream a few streams ago, why doesn't Rose have like a pen and paper to communicate with the party? But there's no proof that she even knows how to read or write. We, you know, we how She's very animalistic in nature and although, yeah, she understands people. Could she read all right? She might. She might be able to, but it's assuming at this stage that she would know how to. But she knows how to paint, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, we've got our boy. We've got our reptile boy. Rex is happy because he's racing in the game now. So we're going to... We're going to... Basically, with this animation, we're going to give the illusion that Rose is painting it. So it has to reveal itself a bit at a time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to gradually take away from the painting. So I'd say the neck could be something she... No. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the head of a, a painter now. What would they paint first? They do... Every, Painters do the outline first, don't they? Or do the painting like sections? Sometimes painters like just pl put like colour. I know that draw people who draw do the outline first. Um, and then they fill it in after. But a painters might be different. Painters might just put a splodge on the canvas, a splodge at a time. So if, it, if we went for that kind of approach, we would do like erase it in sections like that and then build it up like a bit at a time rather than do the outline like drawing if it was a pencil I could totally get her doing the head first and then filling it then the eyes and spikes and then filling them in but because she's actually just splodging I mean she doesn't even have a paintbrush she's just using her hands to do this um she might like just a block of colour at a time. That kind of is what I'm imagining it being like anyway. But you know, maybe it could work as an outline as well. Maybe we could try both and see what looks the best in game. Um, so yeah, I'm inclined to experiment with both ways. Um, so First of all, get rid of the colour. Uh, hmm. Mm. 
he looks happy there. So we'll get we'll get rid of his eyes. Yeah, I could imagine that being that bit. Pay your tiles that go on flat. Um, so we'll do the outline one first and we'll do the block one after. And I'll you chat, feel free to say which version you prefer when we do it. Could even put up a poll, I guess, if uh, I'm getting really st stuck and don't know which one to go for. But sometimes I might be like, nah, I like that one. <laughs> and I might just, just do it. Yeah, right, I think we're going to need a few more canvases here because... It's not going to be enough, just uh, there's one side, going to move. Were one pixel too low. You know though, if I want to get like super realistic about this painting animation, I'm going to like do even more frames and like really only reveal a tiny amount at a time rather than, you know, because this is, you know, revealing it quite, Rose would be a really fast painter if she, if it only revealed itself in eight frames, you know, so I'm likely to want to add more if we want to like make it look super good the animation do you play games sometimes on twitch or on stream or in in general um if you mean on twitch no i actually was talking about that earlier actually i was rambling on about it the reason why i don't and how i'm, how I'm exclusive to doing this I think like, I mean, maybe this isn't the case for all people who are working on a very, very large scale project, but for me, I, I feel like I can't get distracted, like this is my focus in my life, and if I was playing video games on Twitch, I would kind of be wishing I wasn't, <laughs> I'd be like, I want to get back to this, and, do, and I would honestly feel like it was a very deep distraction if I did and of course I I think it's very important to wind down and have that leisure time that's very important because you know it could drive someone crazy if they were working on a one thing 24 7 but streaming is a very uh time consuming thing like I used to stream four days a week very recently but I've 
reduced it to three. And honestly, just that one day less is ridiculously freeing, like, of my time. So, like, you know, streaming for four hours, streaming a video game for four hours is for a day in the week is very different to just chilling out in your room for a couple of hours and playing a game on in, during the night. It's uh, more interesting to share creativity. Well, it depends what you're looking for as a viewer. Like everybody, everybody is different. Like some people want people, like for example, like people might really want to watch uh, a streamer who's streaming a video game that they're obsessed with at the moment. Like if you're playing like Animal Crossing or anything like that, you're likely to want to watch a streamer that's playing it because you're obsessed with that game, right? Um, you know, it all depends what you're what you want, what you're after, and what's appealing to you at the time. Like, there's definitely people out there that aren't going to latch on to this project because I don't know maybe they won't. It's very niche and it's very, uh, you know, some people don't even like two D games. Some people don't even like RPGs. <laughs> so, you know, it all de it, this appeals to a, a niche of people that are very similar to me, I guess, in what video games they like and um, what they enjoy. In any case, you are good at that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. For now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it just an animation of eight frames but yeah I'm very tempted to extend it to more than that eventually oops I don't that wasn't the one I was meant to do it to Hmm. Okay, this is where we come stuck because we've only got one more here, but we need to keep that empty one for, before Rose's paint. So the way it's going, I think we already need to add more. So let's do that now. We want this paint to be good, so, you know. Let's get all the frames we can out of it, I guess. Um, right, so what I am going to do... I've got so many layers here now that... I'm not knowing which one's which. Let's do it one at a time. Yeah, I'm going to move these ones over. Well, mainly these ones. I need to lock those easel ones because I'm dragging them ones and it's uh, it's silly. So I'm just going to check that the other aligned properly. Seven pixels. Um, yeah, they're all good. So I'm going to merge those easel layers and lock them because every time I drag one of the paintings, I end up dragging an easel by accident. So that's very helpful. I'm going to just keep the grey background for now because sometimes looking at the transparent background messes with my eyes which means it's probably messing with your eyes as well chat or could be so uh, I'll have a nice grey background instead for a bit I 
Okay, so the good thing is now we've got more cam um, canvases. We we can be more gradual with the revealing the painting. Don't have to do too much at once. Um, Hmm, I'm trying to think the direction Rose is going to be painting from. Um, oh no, we're going to... Not that one, this one. So if you're wondering why I'm leaving these two blank when I'm doing this, it's because it's the way RPG Maker works when doing these sort of animations. You have to do it in threes, groups of three. So these will all have to be copy and pasted. That will have to be copy and pasted onto those two, and that will have to be copy and pasted onto those. But it's the same with our fruit basket. It's, uh, it's very, like, not, uh, like, not really the way you do it when making a game in RPG Maker because RPG Maker doesn't really encourage much animation at all. So I'm breaking the game to do this. Well, breaking the engine to do this, should I say. It's not really breaking it, but I guess it sort of is. It's a hack. I think that's the best way to put it. It's a hack. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm I want set like the seven canvases left, so I need to make sure that I'm deleting the amount that the right amount for those remaining canvases. And we gotta keep the top one blank.
I think the outlining one works well. I mean, I don't know. I think this will be the one we got it for. I don't think we need to do a block version as well. Because I could imagine a painting with a finger, the outline. So I think, yeah, we got three more left. So that's about right. So, as you can see, the painting is forming. One, two. So, there's certain bits I'm thinking now. I mean, the one bit I think I want to change. Um. just this ear a bit because she did the ear in two parts I think in all honesty um Yeah, there we go. We'll test that and see how it looks. But you never know. We might. We. I might want to be more, like slower in the reveal and add more frames here. Hello there. This looks like a very interesting game you're working on. Hi, Professor. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thank you. I appreciate that. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me. We're working on an animation at the moment because we're been doing some scene work and I always go a bit all out with my scenes try to stretch them as much as I can um, RPG Maker the Engine can be a little bit basic when it comes to scene making and animations in general so we're trying to make the best of what we've got okay so one thing we do need to do though is let's just merge these so we haven't got all these layers um we need to put these on all the three canvases and same with the other ones because otherwise we'll have blank canvases at times it's weird it feels like a real wet waste of space to have to put it there three times but it's how we have to do things for this for this hack also i think that we need we're a bit one pixel two far to the left there there we go um because his ear is touching the edge. May I ask how long this game has been in development? Oh, good question. That is certainly one that's going to go on my FAQ page, Professor. Because uh, I'm in the process of doing it so it can get added to the website and the 
next couple of weeks um but in that to answer it we are on stream 128 today i think it is and um it's been almost a year i think since we've had our very first raindrop chronicle stream or it might just might, might just be just over a year it's about a year anyway so wow a year so yeah it was a year ago when we would just start doing this and um it's come quite a way i mean we're still not at the point where we got a playable build yet because a lot of the time has been spent you know thinking of ideas and rambling and it's generally uh, a lot of time is spent doing that but we're getting there it's episodic for that reason so you guys don't have to wait too long to play something because rpgs in general and world building can be a very time consuming task if you want to do it good so um, especially me being just one person as well just one person making this um so yes it's been about a year i had the idea longer than a year ago but it wasn't until last year when i started doing it like properly and taking it more seriously um so yeah pretty good but yeah like we're on a hundred, stream 128 and honestly if it's probably going to be around stream late 200s or early 300s where we're probably going to be more closer to the episode one release um you know it's it's uh it's not something that's going to be like you're going to be getting in a month or even two or three months because there's still a lot more content we want to add but you know um that that's just episode one there's way there's more that's going to be coming after that too because this is pretty much something I live for. <laughs> so no matter what I'm doing in my life, like if I had a sec if I had another job, other priorities, I'd still make time for this. Um, so you're the sole person in charge of coding, sprite, and world design, debugging, music, and the story. I guess you could say so. In charge of the whole thing, you know, like in charge of the whole project and the whole building of it, like the community. Like I so this is a community mad rpg in regards to the fact that the community have a lot of input we i'm very very like encourage chat to give ideas characters ideas story ideas and write it with me and uh just like give just at all i like, give feedback and it's very community driven in that way in terms of input we have polls a lot and a lot of decisions we make in the game are based on um polls together and uh the community ideas are added to those polls but yes i have to like make sure i don't spread myself too thin of course so in that for that reason things like assets especially art and sound assets 90% of them uh, other people have done them other artists because it would just be a pretty big ask of me to do 100% of everything myself as you say it like you've written all those things it's a it's a big thing isn't it so yes um music it's not me that's doing it I found a composer like a really good one hundreds of tracks very suitable for the game I've spent a lot of time putting that as organizing all those tracks into folders based on uh you know whether it be a scene piece a battle piece a field piece a dungeon piece and mood i've organized them in mood and that and things like that because it's not even just about making the music it's about how you design it and where you place that track in your game you know like it makes all the difference where you decide to put something and how you direct and design the thing back to the day twinsy is awesome thank you so much moon we need the love today it's been a funny stream it's been one of those streams you know when you get the weirdos come in and you're like oh god don't say that but what, what at times like this that's why you need the awesome ones coming in like moon shadow saying awesome things <laughs> we need it we need it yeah but it's all it's all fine like you know <laughs> when you stream it's the nature of it isn't it you 
you got to expect it in a way. But it's one of those things I just forget about the next day anyway when I've moved on. But at the time, you like feel a bit awkward. Like someone came in saying, I love a woman who codes. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> I felt so objectified. Um, it's just like, not, not on. <laughs> And then there was someone coming in saying, remember that time that you let you put your address on the stream for everyone to see? And I was like, I didn't do that. And I felt really paranoid. I was like, did I? But I knew him. I didn't. I, I didn't do it. Because <laughs> I would remember if I messed up so bad. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. It's definitely one of those yikes days. Yikes. But yeah. <laughs> It's been fun, look, we've, we've, we've done a cool painting at least. <laughs> we're doing a cool painting and we're going to add it to the game now and see how it looks. So we'll get rid of the grey background because uh, we, we don't want that there in the game, obviously. But this this is the final paint at mine, but I think I want to add a bit more extra detail to him. Just a few little little bits but this isn't what the party are gonna see right now because this is virtually the finished piece and rose wouldn't have done that until post battle so at the this point in the cutscene, before they get interrupted by the fruits i'd say she'll only have done maybe i'm i'm, I'm wondering what should be revealed because even just looking at this bit on the painting it's pretty clear it's a lizard, isn't it? It's pretty clear that's a lizard guy. Because you can see the ear. Although some people might think it's an elf. Because of the spiky ear. But like that's an elf. But I can't I kinda don't know if I want to reveal such such like ruin the mystery so early by revealing he's clearly a pointy eared being the the uh rosie's painting because there's a mystery i like the intrigue that this scene is what we're going for with this scene with the whole painting and what rosie's what will it be that she paints who is it that she that took carol's son but maybe i mean if we did it here that's that's three three frames if we just even if we just did that bit that could that doesn't reveal too much but as soon as we show that you know we're showing that point here and that like reveals its race somewhat or would it maybe i'm just seeing things because i know what the the what it actually looks like but someone who doesn't know what it looks like might not not have a clue what that is you know <laughs> I guess it depends. We'll say we'll just try now and see what happens if Rose paints the first four frames at least. I'm excited to see how this is going to look. So. It's not going to be too hard. To, in fact, this was easier than I thought it would be. And this is the this is the amazing thing about making a game, guys. Sometimes the things that you think are going to be really hard and time consuming, you can do quite easily. And then sometimes the things that you think are really easy and take forever. It can trick you like that. Other than weird people here and there, how are you doing today, Rose? But honestly very decently as decently as i can be i guess um so yeah, just getting on with things and how about you moon how have you completed the final fantasy 7 remake yet or have you not i i haven't i'm guilty of completely neglecting it it's, it's bad it's finding that time you know i mean I put Animal Crossing on now and again, but it's literally just for 30 minutes and then I have to put it away because I won't be getting stuff done. But Final Fantasy, any any game of that nature, you have to take, you know, 
takes like a good chunk out your day because I have to play it hours at a time if I'm going to play it, not just 20 minutes. It's been a really weird day today to be honest. Woke up with a headache now, nine hours later, it's still not gone. Oh my goodness, those days when you get a headache, it doesn't go with the worst because you just can't do anything when you've got a headache. Hope it gets better soon, Moon. I have to head out now. Wish you the best of luck with developing your game. Hope to see you again sometime. Yeah, I hope you get to pop in again sometime, Professor, because you seem like awesome people. And I very much love this stream to be full of awesome people, that's for sure. Haven't touched seven in the past two to three days. Don't want to finish it. Yes, that's for sure. Well, whenever you do finish it, I hope you like the outcome. And um, yeah, take care, Professor. Have a really good day. It seems when you wake up with a headache, it's harder to get rid of it compared to if you get it during the day, at least in my case, yeah. And whenever that happens to me, whenever I wake up with a headache, it's usually because someone's been doing construction work <laughs> a lot of the time. Because I don't really suffer from headaches that bad, but if there's noise, then yeah, oh, I get it. I'm sensitive to noise. Okay, so this is the point. I'm, I'm going to really make an effort to start commenting scenes more because i think a lot of the reason it's sometimes time consuming is um is because i don't comment my scenes and then um, i struggle to find the bit i'm trying to edit so i'm gonna really definitely try and do this more so i've already start the painting at this point um I mean, if I want to go over the top, I can literally do that and then I wouldn't miss it. Because <laughs> even with us, the green it comment nest, and it, sometimes it's hard to say. Um, I can smell food. I want food now. I don't know what it is though, you know, when you can smell food, but you don't know what it is. Okie doke, so let's get this cool animation in, shall we? Um, right, so what event is the easel? That's the question. It's not even an event. It's a thing on the tile set. So we're going to change things a bit. We're going to actually give it an event. Um... And it should be here. It should actually be called easel. Oh. Did we not save it as a PNG? Surely we did. I think we did, but in the wrong folder. So we've got to do it here instead. There we go. It's saved now. Mr. Neo Trip, how you doing? Welcome to the stream and thank you for that follow. Hope your Wednesday is treating you well. Okay, so there we go. We've got it there now in this box instead. And I'm, that means I'm going to delete the one we've got here. Thank you, thank you, hello, yay, welcome. Hope you're doing good. We're making an RPG game here. Look at our pretty forest. Okay, so it's event number 19. We're working on a scene at the moment for, for Neo and anyone who's popping in. There's going to be a lot of scenes in this game. Lots of quests with lots of scenes. Because what RPG doesn't have that? Um, 
Okay, so hang on, I forgot what that event, the event number was of the painting. Event 19. So all we need to do is we go to movement route, click event 19, and we change the graphic a bit at a time to reveal this painting that we've done. So Actually, we don't we don't need to change the graphic yet but we will when we get to the other paintings we just have to use directions to reveal this because this is a hack you see how I'm doing this animation it's not really the typical way but it works it works very well for doing complex animations in this engine so all I have to do is move no turn left turn right and turn up is what we need to do and we can have a wait in between I'll just put 60 frame wait in between each for now but I might reduce it if it feels a little bit slow also we're gonna have to put a wait for completion on that too Let's see how this looks. Let's do a test play. It's always like exciting to do a test play when you've made a big edit, but it's also nerve wracking in case it completely screws up. So let's see. Looks like a very cool concept. Thank you, appreciate that. I tried my best. <laughs> Fighting a headache other than that, all good, yay. But you'll get Ben Moon, I know it. Hope it goes away for Rex's stream later. Just make sure you rest up. Carol looks deformed right now, by the way, so ignore her. You probably can't see that she looks deformed because our test play squished into our overlay. But she is, she looks, she's deformed because I've been messing up her with her sprite. But the good thing is, her hop's better now. I squished her up. A, I squished her a bit to make the hop more larger when she jump, when she walks. Um, but because I've squished her, it means I need to tidy her up. Headache be gone. I know. Headache be gone. Ooh, so it did it, but it did, one thing I did notice is the pixels, the pixels were a bit not aligned, so I don't know why, why I didn't align them properly, we'll have to fix that now, but it worked, and we get it, we've got to get the timing right with the fruits, like, Tomato has to jump out and interrupt them, interrupt Rose from her painting, you know, it, you know, she, Rose can't be standing there painting nothing for ages before Tomato comes. So let's get that timing spotless, shall we? But first, we need to fix the problem. Hmm. So, I see what I've done. I see what I've done there, so... What should be happening is that this is one higher. Hmm, I need to bit this is a bit difficult, so what I'm gonna do is uh merge all these. Because it'll be easier if they're all on one layer. So I honestly just accidentally put those there one pixel lower than they should have been. So it didn't, didn't look right when Rose was painting. It was off by a pixel. But it's fixed now. 
that is literally 100% fine. <laughs> Speak of the Rex and he shall appear. He's spying. Rex is hidden in the shadows, ready to protect me if any trolls come in. Aren't you, Rex? <laughs> hope you're doing great today, Rexy. I uh, hope so too. I hope you enjoyed your your little meal soy soul and drink. I don't think I said that right. Okay, so that bit's fixed and we're going to do another test play again and I'm going to stare at tomato to see if uh, he comes out at the right time. I ordered a tomato t-shirt so I'll be wearing it on stream soon by the way but um, it's going to take a while to come for me I think because they're actually made overseas so I think Brexit is going to come before mine. I'm hidden away. <laughs> also, folks, make sure you're following Raindrop Chronicles on the good old Instagram because I am going to be taking in Instagram a little bit more seriously with Raindrop Chronicles soon. Because I've, I've completely neglected Instagram. Um, I don't, I have a personal account too, but I don't use it much because I'm not really the sort of person that posts all this stuff about me all the time. So there's really not a lot of it on there. But I want to definitely make use of it for Raindrop Chronicles because I really like the Instagram stories thing where you can put up polls and like there's all these pretty cool things that i've only just realized about instagram stories and i think uh, i can i can do some fun stuff on there related to this oh hello hi zayas 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 i always i always say it every time does it rhyme with gaius or not <laughs> and i think he says it doesn't rhyme with gaius so it's it's that means it's Zayas, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so silly. I hope you're doing well though. Maybe I should just call you Nation instead. That'll be so much easier. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you again though. It's always a pleasure. Hope things are okay on your end. Rise looks really mad at Carol. I love the passive aggressiveness, I have to say, of that character. If, if Carol could see that angry face of Rose is when uh, she tells her to hurry up. Gives a, I like it. It gives layers to Rose because nobody knows what she's thinking. She... She could like be secretly evil and super angry and hating everyone. And she could be totally trolling everyone with this painting she's doing. But she could also be a complete sweetheart who just wants to help Carol find her family. Internet freaking out, barely know what you've been saying, lol. But yes, hello, yeah, you've you missed me talking about your name and pronouncing it and the issues I always have with pronouncing your name about is it does it rhyme with uh, Gaius or not rhyme with Gaius you know me you know me don't you I always mess it up but yeah so hello how, how are you what how is life what video games have been keeping you occupied lately I need to catch up with you <laughs> it has been forever it's no wonderful to see you Screwing <laughs> screw into how dare it how dare the internet interrupt all these things i've been saying about you now you'll never know you'll never know what i've said okay so there's a few little things with the cutscene that need to be fixed the timing is very off um 
Carol needs to turn up. Uh, Carol's turning up way too late. She is meant to turn up. when Rose starts walking. So I think 100, 120 seconds would probably work. I mean 120 frames, bloody hell, 120 seconds. 120 frames, there we go. Um, I'm not sure, I might need chat adjusting just a touch, but I'm hoping that timing will work. Um, we don't need that wait anymore. The fruits literally have to interrupt Rose and make their appearance immediately to stop her painting. Um, and in fact, Rose could still be painting while it's shaking. So I'm actually going to get rid of the wait for completion there. And have her paint still while this is happening. You see how that works. We'll say might need to be a few adjustments. Yeah, I know. Right. Well, you've you've always got the vod for evidence. You, I could have been saying all sorts about you, and you wouldn't know. But I'd never be able to hide it because you guys can just watch the vod. Boo hoo. <laughs> I'm going to focus and stare at this so I make sure that it's working. I think she turned up out at the right time, but I'm going to double check. Oh, maybe that might have worked. But I'm going to have to have another watch because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's Timing with the scene work is always the thing, like... It feels like 80% of the time that's what I'm trying to do, making sure everything happens at the right moment. She, yeah, she turns around too early. Yeah, and she, Rose has like started the painting and she, I think it's about right. She turns around and gets interrupted about, about the right time. I think we could have a, a bit less than 60 frames between each stroke of paint. No, I think we could, no, it, we might need more actually. We'll say, just a very minor timing issues that not much we get in there um so we said carol moves too early didn't we so we'll try 180 frames instead of 120 see if it's what it's like at 19 if that works better I mean I'd prefer less frames to be there to be honest but we'd need to adjust you know things a little bit if we're gonna have less frames we're gonna you know we'll see so simple yet so powerful which one is it? Oh, this one. Oh, this is the one that makes me happy. This is the Final Fantasy track that always makes me 
feel happy, you know, it's just got that happiness. <laughs> How's the game again? Hi Davy, how are you doing? Not too bad, we, we're working on cutscene stuff at the moment for our second main quest. It's very chunky, our second main quest is, so it might not seem like very deep into the game, but our main quests, you know, they're not like just five minute fetch quests, they're actually quite, you know, rich and full of story. So yeah, we're working on the cutscene for that, and um, yeah, it's fun. It's always fun to build cutscenes, though it's time consuming. But I hope you're doing well, Davey. Hope things are treating you well. Final Fantasy, him, or at least that's what I call it, yes. I'm glad that that one's on the playlist. I completely did forgot that that one was on there. Nice, looking really good, yay. Yeah, it is, I mean, um, I really, really want to get a build, like, think about getting a build um, out. Um, I'd say before June would be cool. Before June. Because at the moment, the game, there's a, a lot of, like, disorganised bits and bobs. So I need to merge, tie everything together. Um, and that'll be fun. It'll be fun to... To be able to actually walk around and it all be working perfectly, even though all the features wouldn't be implemented and none, all of the quests and side quests wouldn't be fully implemented. It'll be a very basic first build, basically like how a demo would be. Um, started learning pixel art last week, being mixing pixel art with high end special effects. Oh, that sounds fun. Pixel art. Pixel art is fun. I do it sometimes because uh, you kind of have to know how to do it a bit because even in this, like I, a lot of the assets, like a big portion of them are uh, from other artists, but you, you kind of still need to know because you have to do editing and sometimes have to create your own original assets too. Carol the Barrel, this beautiful lady right here, this beautiful barrel, she was made by me i'm very proud of her she's one of my my best original characters <laughs> she was made like really early on as well like stream three or four i think yeah i think that the timing with the painting looked a bit better for that one but I'm gonna watch again because I want to and, and uh, I missed Carol's uh, animation thing that we did when she turns up but yeah if you ever want to share your pixel art Davey you know with us we have a creative work channel in our discord just so you know just so you know folks In fact, she could look up a little bit earlier. Tomato still looks a bit weird when he's jumping out of a basket. I can't work out what's going on. Because when Lemon moves out, he looks fine. Where's Lemon? He's gone. Oh, wow. Maybe that's the problem. One sec. There's, def there's a little glitch that's happened with that basket to fix. That I didn't notice before. But first, before that, I'm going to change this to 150 frames. Wait. Uh, okay, so this is where it all is. So, wow, my tummy did a big, big rumble then. Um... So that should actually be turned down. Oh no, hang on. I'm getting very confused because this confuses me, all this does. You have to use your brain to figure it out. Because 
basically, I mean, just getting that up. I'm using these character sprite sheets as a way to animate things that aren't characters. And it's all about the direction they face with when the sprite changes the animation. And it can get a bit confusing to know whether you have to have it on turn right, turn down, or turn up. Um... Hmm. Well, I have yet to be called Lemon today, though. I don't know, I did it I did it the other day again, didn't I? A second time. And it wasn't on purpose either. Wow. <laughs> I was just mortified. I thought I can't believe I've called Moonshadow Lemon again. Well, what is with me and my obsession with lemon? Why is, why is it lemon that I call you and not apple or plum or blueberry? <laughs> why is it always lemon? Not on purpose, right? <laughs> um, turn F, turn down. I'm going to have to pay attention to this. Turn left, turn. Okay, that's when it's shaking, I think. Turn right, turn up. Okay, I think I know what the issue was. I just I need to turn down there, that's what it is. I was just missing a very simple thing. I must have accidentally deleted it at some point. But that might have been why Tomato's animation looked so weird when he was jumping out of the basket. Just that simple thing that was gone. Oh, sorry. Hey, Rose. I hope it's going well. Hi, Wes. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. How is your Wednesday treating you? Thanks for stopping by. We carry on with our cutscene stuffs today. Um, what day? It's Wednesday. So we have one more stream this week on Friday, don't we, guys? So let's think. Well, I've got my day off stream tomorrow, so I'm going to get a bulk of stuff planned. Um, and then I'm hoping we can get to a point where Friday stream will be finalising this cutscene. Because we got it, there's still a ton of dialogue to actually add. Like we've only done the very first part of the cutscene, but the stuff that's coming out, coming after this bit, is a lot easier to implement. I'd say, um, because the hardest bit was getting the fruits jumping out that basket and Rose actually doing the painting. It's mainly just conversation and banter and choices that, that we've got next. And um, I think we could be on track for getting, a, getting it concluded on Friday. And then next week, well, normally that would mean next week we'd be working on the actual boss. We'd be working on the uh, fruit boss because that all, that's kind of what's next. We'd be fighting these guys. But I've been thinking of having a week ded dedicated to doing the character sheets that we need to catch up on because we've got 11. We've got 11 new characters to put in the game, guys. Like, And that's who these guys are walking across, which means we'll have some new characters joining us on walking across on stream once, uh, once they're done. 
So I'm excited to, to do them. And then they'll be put on the website as well, the new character as well. So next week I might catch up on those. And then the week after that, maybe we'll do the box stuff. Um, we'll see how it goes. Doing well, woke up late, but doing work, work from home has made it tough to stay on good schedule, to be honest. You know, that's that's interesting because we had someone in stream come in earlier say the exact same thing about, you know, being productive at home. Is there always a challenge, you know, you've got to gotta have really strong discipline, haven't you? Okay, so the whole blueberry sequence needs editing. It's a it's messed up because I've changed some things. But it shouldn't be too hard to fix. I'm still not sure about Rose's expression when when Plum's checking her out. I feel like she needs to have some sort of expression throughout that little bit i think it'll just be more entertaining so i'll work on that too and then apple jumps out and he's like guys and at this point the hero is going to get a choice um so yeah we've got the fruits all out as we should and it's, it's fortunately the easiest scene stuff that's coming up I'm glad we've uh, done the hardest bits first. Um, they're not perfect yet. There's still stuff to perfect, perfect with this scene, but we're getting there. I worked on a bit of some of it last night. Yorkshire pudding, thank you for the follow. I like your name. Yorkshire pudding's absolutely y yummy. And a lot of people might have not ever tried them before if you're not from England. Do you guys overseas have Yorkshire puddings too? Thanks, yeah. I take it you you like the Yorkshire puddings to be named after them. They're like my one of my favourite things ever. <laughs> but I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for stopping by. keep missing tomatoes jumping animation and checking if it's sorted yet um i think we could have honestly something's sort of missing just a wait before rose starts the painting so where's that part right rose starts painting um this bit here we'll have a wait for 120 frames honestly it's so easy to rush with scenes and just get everything coming out so fast but those times when you have the weights just small weights like just you need that breathing time to just process what's happening in the scene so i kind of don't want to neglect just putting in those because realistically rose would probably you know, she's not just going to be like, walk up and then suddenly there's, she's painting. There's, there's going to be a little pause. Um, I do. And also from Yorkshire. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yay for another British person stream. But I love you all. No matter where you're from in the world. I love you all. Never heard. You never. Moon has never had a Yorkshire pudding. Holy crap. you got to have one. You're missing out. But I'm sure, I'm sure I'm missing out on lots of foods out there as well that you guys eat and I don't. It, I wish I could try them all, to be honest. <laughs> As an American blood doll like bread puddings, no? Well, yes. Americans, you know, maybe certain diets and foods that us British have aren't the cups of tea, which I get, because foods are very different over there. For sure, I'm a f I am love the American breakfasts and that dough. I'm a big fan of pancakes and the waffles and I love that. Yummy, yummy. 
Hi, Chub. Keep her out in night tea streams. What's a Yorkshire pudding? You know. You know what that is, Chub. You have it all the time. You're from England. <laughs> but what's your favourite food, then, Wes, if you're not into that sort of thing? I'm curious now. Um, okay. I'm going to do another test play again. Chub, we've done the painting. We've started the painting of the reptile. We've actually done him. I kind of want to show, get it up now, just to so you can see. Um, so this is the painting. You can see the face shape. And then when we move here, he's forming. And she's painting with the blood, so that's why he's actually red. Because that's, that's the colour that Rose has. Um, and I think I want to add a little bit more detail. And do, just a touch. It's not going to be a work of art. Um, but as long as it looks like a reptile, that's the main thing. Um, with the ears and the nose and stuff. The shape of the face. Um, but yeah, she's, paint. she's, she's painting him. But she only gets the chance to do like the first this first bit before the fruits interrupt them but then after the battle she's gonna get to she's gonna get to finish him and carol is gonna be like what the i'm gonna kill this this piece of oh we need we need a carol insult word for reptiles because she's not gonna call him a flesh bag is she because that's the word she gives to humans I'm curious what Carol's horrible slur for reptiles is going to be because she's going to definitely be using it when she when she sees this painting she will put them on her enemy list an idea came to mind if you choose to kill the fruits maybe she has more colours to work with oh that's interesting because you know the fruits are painters themselves um, they actually paint their own colour. Apple paints with green, ye le lemon yellow, etc, etc. Um, for sure. Tomato's red, just like rose, though, I suppose. Because <laughs> uh, even though it's not blood, it's, well, tomato. <laughs> but um, it's always fun to, like, think of what we potentially could have happened differently based on the choices that we make in this game and one idea as well was to have obviously this is quite a simple one an item drop if you kill the fruits you know compared to if you don't you get a special item that you wouldn't have got normally but there's always other loads of thing ways to take it the more the more exciting i think um and it just makes the decision more like it gives more weight to the decision you make as well and i i honestly think there's a lot of ways that killing or keeping the fruits alive could change things and some of them we might not have even have thought of yet but they could come to us over time as we're building the next part of the, the, the story it would require more yeah well i imagine that all that had happened was this guy this guy will be in full colour if that's the case. Like we'd have a full colour reptile, not just a red reptile. Um so that's always an option. I mean it's not like it would take forever to do that because it's a pretty simple sprite. Um but yeah I'm gonna copy and paste what you say, Chub, because it's an interesting one. I mean if I'm trying I'm trying to think of if it if it if it could have more depth to it than just having a visual change like maybe we could even take it further perhaps but that's just me trying to fit my brain going all like this to think of different things um make the lizard more identifiable if that's true so it wouldn't just be the fact that the painting would be visually different it would also mean the the reptile would be because the way he is at the moment you we would we don't know what color he is he could be a green reptile he could be a brown reptile he could be a purple reptile he could be yellow gold like you know he could be but painting in full color 
we'd, we'd reveal more about him. We'd know his colour for a start. And I think that says everything. Um, because knowing the true colour of the reptile will narrow down the list of suspects, of course. And we'll find our uh, culprit faster than if we only seen him in the colour of Rose's blood. So that very, very good point. I eat a lot of Mexican food when I can, but a good Thanksgiving meal is probably the highlight of my year. Oh, cool. And yes, yeah, so us British folk don't have Thanksgiving, which is it? Which is do, okay? I, I want to go to America for Thanksgiving one at one point to experience it. If careless Rex will have me, but I can't now because of this virus business, but maybe when it all clears up. Who knows? We'll say It would make a lizard more into both. That's the word. R reptile. Yeah, he could be a reptile lizard or a dragon or a dinosaur, I guess. I suppose he's got wings, so it's more dragon than dinosaur. But he definitely has the lizard dragon sort of look going on with him. Drago, how are you doing? It's good to see you. How do I get more raindrops from lurking at the stream, guys? All you have to do is keep me, my stream up in the background and you will get a, a raindrop every, is it every 10 minutes? But if you're a sub, you get two raindrops every 10 minutes. So it seemed like a bit of a grind, a raindrop every 10 minutes, but it can soon build up, believe me. People have got those raindrops pretty fast some people have um so i hope you are drago it would cause more changes down the line you get raindrops as well oh yeah chubb's already answered thank you chubb i did david see i appreciate that go where oh mexico we're gonna get some great places there oh yeah i was saying for thanksgiving i would i want to have thanksgiving one day with you rex because i've never experienced it here just because i think it'd be nice um Thanksgiving is a big American breakfast too, so you'd love it. But I'd have Mexican food as well. <laughs> I'd have both. I'd have both. Um, right, so it would cause more changes down the line. Oh yeah, what changes, Chubb? I'm curious because um I really like the idea of and I'm thinking now. It's like I really just really want this game to like have great consequences. It's very, very appealing for multiple playthroughs. Um, okay, so I'm getting my notepad file up and copying what Chubb said because... Because it's good. It's interesting stuff and I don't want to forget it. And yes, of course, having more consequences from the choice in the game, yeah, definitely will require more work, but I feel like it's work that's worth it. Um, and that is ultimately why I'm sacrificing doing things like my own art so I can put time more into the story and things like that. Um, because if, say, I was doing 100% art all myself, the game itself would have to be very basic. Um to kind of like, you know, because I would just wouldn't get the time to do everything. So you kind of have to sacrifice certain sections. And one thing I don't want to sacrifice is the story and how rich and how, you know, far it goes in terms of decisions. So that's kind of the key thing that I want to do with this game. Because I'm just a nerd for that. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, one day. Hot take, can cranberry sauce is gross. I don't think I've ever had that. I've had cranberry juice, but I don't know if I've had actual sauce. Like, if Carol sees any lizard, she would get suspicious if they were the one that took Ollie. But if she knows the colour of the reptile, yeah, that is... Honestly, that is so true. Like, it would just change. Carol knowing the colour and that and... It just changes everything. Not even just Carol, but the hero knowing. And even villagers in Lankfall, NPCs knowing, could tell 
us stuff and information they could look at the paint and be like oh gosh i know that reptile is that you know they might even give could even reveal his name and say full on who it is just because they know the color but obviously not seeing the color just makes him so much more of a mystery and a figure that we're like well who's that we know it's a reptile but who because there's loads of reptiles you know could be anyone we know he's got spikes on his head though at the top of his head so that does narrow it down a bit um because not every reptile has spikes on their head some could have different design like so that's another thing but yeah interesting i mean for example, Rex is wearing a hat. He could have spikes like that underneath his hats. You know, if a lot of reptiles have bandanas on as well and could be hiding their spikes. So I like the mystery and the intrigue. And yes, you could you find out more if you kill the fruits, but do you want to kill such adorable things really? That's the that is kind of the dilemma here. Oh, are we gonna kill some adorable fruits just to narrow down the mystery or are we gonna it's interesting and some people might look for spoilers they might like want to know and in that case if they knew that more stuff will be revealed if they did kill the fruits they'll probably kill the fruits because they'll be like well i want i want to know who the reptile is so you know um won't be as aggressive in her manner or whatever yeah so if you kill the fruits you get the name of the bad guy earlier than if you let them live yeah exactly it just it's just it, it it's just so it's good i like it chub i like it so honestly thank you because that didn't come to mind for me like it's one of those things that you just don't realize but it's a, it's definitely a, a very a very good one um and like I said, um, I want to push as far as I can in terms of how doing things a certain way can change things. So, yes. But, yeah, you wouldn't know that at the time of choice. No, you wouldn't. Unless you looked at spoilers, of course. Or if it was your second playthrough, then you'd know. But I learned this bad guy earlier. You don't get the fruit side quest later. You have mentioned. So it gives both choices some benefit. Yes. So yeah. Stuff is going to be available to you. If you keep, do keep the fruits alive. So it's not like you've lost out completely. And if you did get attached to any of the fruit characters. At least you get to you know see them again. But if you don't give a damn about the fruit characters. You're more likely to just think yeah I'll kill them. <laughs> but if you're like me and you are falling in love with uh, one of them, then yeah, you might find it hard. You'll never guess which one I've fallen in love with though, chat, you'll get it wrong if you guess. You will, because you are, you're all gonna say it's Blueberry that I love, but you're wrong. <laughs> okay, um, uh, oh my goodness, guys, I'm doing it again. I'm going over time on the stream. This has been happening quite a bit lately. You love plum. Good guess, but not right. It's actually apple, the one that I love, which is quite a shock because apple used to be my least favourite character out the fruits. But ever since we developed him more and changed his face, I love him. <laughs> He's become like everything. Um... And yeah, I was very, like, indifferent about Apple before. So yeah, it's amazing what just a slight character development can do. You love pineapple. <laughs> yeah, on pizza, kappa. <laughs> right, guys, so yeah, that's what we've done. We've, fin we've successfully, well, finished Rose's painting animation, the first part anyway. Um, we've only sh revealed the first four frames of the painting at this point because she gets interrupted by a tomato. But when we f when we kill them, she'll be able to finish it off. And like Trib says, could be in full colour if you do a certain thing. So that'll be fun, guys. And I'm back again on Friday. Um, the goal 
for Friday stream is I want to start coming towards conclude in this cut scene on Friday. The one post battle, obviously not the. I mean, the pre-battle cutscene, I want to conclude that. And then after battle, we'll have another cutscene to do, of course. But we will work on the boss battle before we do that cutscene. So, yeah, we'll finish this cutscene, then it's boss battle, and then it will be doing the scene after the boss battle. And then at that point, we'll have successfully finished main quest too. We'll have to hand it in to Fiona Buckington though in Lakefall. That'll be our quest destination for fi completely finishing the quest. We have to go back to Lakefall and hand it in to her. And that just creates a whole new set of problems as well because Rose was meant to be sacrificed and Fiona is going to be like, why isn't she gone? And Fiona is pretty interesting in herself as a character because... There's the whole, like, is she in league with the fruits? You know? I may, I actually made a note of that somewhere. I'm going to read it to, to refresh myself on what those notes were about Fiona. Um, Could Fiona Buckington be up to no good and involved with the fruits in their plan? If so, which fruit, apple or the others? And that's because Fiona said... Like, literally her words, Fiona's, if you watch the story so far, she's basically like, you need to sacrifice Rose to the monsters living in the forest. And it's like, why? Why does she care? Like, when you find out more about the fruits and their actual plans for why they need Rose, it gets very dark. And it's kind of disturbing if Fiona was not, knew that and... Is like, could she have other agendas herself? Like, if she's like in league with the fruit, she's not someone who should be allowed to be living in like full. Um, but you know, that could just be completely off wrong. Maybe she's totally innocent. But it's interesting just adding these like intriguing layers behind the the scenes. You know, of all this story and some of these things, people players playing won't even realize a lot of people probably won't even give a thought to fiona buckington and her motivations because she's just a minor npc people are just so used to um, minor npcs and quest givers being these boring things that have no motivation but in raindrop chronicles even the minor npcs have motivations so people might not even give a thought to her but she could really there could be something there there could definitely be something now with her too. And don't forget, in Main Quest 1, you would have had the option to push her into the lake or not. If you pushed her into the lake, she could be... She could have put you on her number one enemy list. <laughs> if she really is this, like, you know, evil little girl, you know, maybe... That could have consequences too. Such a small thing as that. That was like the first proper choice in the game. Pushing her in the lake. It could like affect everything. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows guys. So uh, lol. So there's me going on a ramble. About things again. But I'm excited. I'm just excited guys. Because I've got big plans. For this. And it's lots of fun so take care guys i am gonna head off um i don't usually rush off i sometimes like to give a rate to a stream when i finish but unfortunately today because i've gone over time i have to rush off um so i will see you guys on friday stream and we will we will definitely very likely be having our last making cutscene stream on friday for a bit because the following week I want to move on to other stuff. It'll either be the boss battle or it'll be doing some character sheets. It'll be one or the other next week. It de honestly depends what I'm in the mood for. Because the character sheets doing the new ones, because we've got a big backlog, will be just a nice little chill time just to unwind. It's always, it's always nice and relaxing to do that. Boss battle stuff will be pretty intense because, you know, it's... It's boss battle, game mechanics and stuff. 
and it's definitely more out of my comfort zone but it's it's going to be a lot of fun even so so take care guys and thank you very much for hanging out and for all the new people hanging out all the follows all the chats and everyone thanks for being awesome um i'm going to give you our most important commands if you're new here youtube is the place to to be because that's where i upload stuff related to the game the streams sneak peek stories over our law discussions or all will be going there and um instagram as well i barely have used it so far raindrop chronicles instagram it's very inactive but i'm intending to you know start posting on there and if you want to get involved then that will be the place to be as well but i don't have a command for that yet because i barely use instagram but see you uh, on friday thank you thank you moon thank you yorkshire thank you chub and rex and everybody else where's drago take care i think i've said everybody now have an awesome day